Hi guys, Lisette here coming at you with the Kamari method for my bras, panties, and socks. Uh, I did a lot of the sorting offline, not because I'm traumatized if you see my panties, but just because there were so many items. The Kamari method where you put everything together and then keep what sparks joy totally failed me in these categories. Uh, so I don't know if this is like the best video to show, but I'm just being real with you guys. This is what happened with me. For the bras, this sparks joy. It's not very feasible to wear because, you know, the ribbons and stuff show between. This sparks joy. I mean, the pretty things spark joy. The beige bras that I wear generally don't particularly spark joy. But I need, like, beige t-shirt bras. I need a couple black to wear under stuff. So, truly, if I did the KonMari method, I would have this bra, this bra, and a red one. So, um, I just had to use common sense. This gold lame bra that I used as part of a... a Cleopatra Cops tomb. It's got a bra and panty set. I'm giving that away. Here's a bra that just never fit correctly. I've got a blue denim I'm giving away. I've got some red lacy ones that don't fit me anymore that I'm giving away. And I've got quite a few red lacy ones that don't fit me anymore. I enjoy red lacy. Here's another one that's a little too small for me. And another just kind of see-through one. So, basically, I kept, like, all my t-shirt bras, even though they don't, like, really spark that much joy. Black ones that are okay. Red ones that I love, as you can tell from my other ones. And these that I love but aren't that feasible because they show through everything. So, for bras... I had 26, I am keeping 16, and I am giving away 10. So that was giving away 10. I think I walked away from the microphone. So let me get this out of the way. So see how the KonMari method didn't really work for me for that one? Here are all my panties. Yes, I have a problem. I have 121 panties. All these on top are ones I'm giving away. I wanted to keep them all. Uh, they all spark joy. So I just tried to be realistic. Uh, like some of them are too small. Some of them have the elastic that's really skinny that I don't care for. Let's see if I can find like... This elastic is bigger than that elastic. It's about half the size. And I prefer the big elastic. So I try to come up with, you know, I guess reasons. Because, I mean, I think that's cute. But it's not that comfortable. And I do bypass it for other panties. So all of these, I think only one pair of panties had a, a little run in it. Let's see. So, well, that's not bad. I only have one with a little run, but that's obviously going away. Anybody, I mean, I don't know what to do with these. I assume that no one is going to want used panties. Um, I don't know what that was. An eye patch, I have no idea. Little lace bits. And this is what I'm keeping. Now, these fit me now. These are the next size down. Uh, I've worn all of these back here. These are brand new with tags. I got them from Victoria's Secret because they used to give me cards that say come in and just get a free panty and I would do that in the next size down hoping that would encourage me to lose weight. As not so far but um, these what sparks joy is lacy, pretty, what I can actually wear right now. I like these. They're high leg cotton from Victoria's Secret. A lot of these are. But I'm more of a lacy girl. So I'm going to have to 
um, rethink my panty buying because I got all these from Victoria's Secret, you know, all the lacy things. So the name sticks in my mind as sexy panties, but I see I need to be doing something different. That goes with my purple bra from just earlier. Okay, that's enough of that. So out of the 100, totally off track, out of the 121 panties, I'm keeping 37 that fit me right now, 49 in the next size down for a total of 86 panties. Uh, I'm getting rid of 20 that fit me now, 15 from the next size down, so I'm getting rid of 35. Keeping 86, getting rid of 35. Hopefully that all adds up correctly. And so that's panties. If I did the KonMari method, I would not get rid of anything because I have a panty fixation or something. I don't know what's going on with that. But if it's cute and lacy, I want. And then here comes the socks and the hosiery. Uh, I was happy to get rid of these. I enjoyed these. These are those thick socks, but they're pretty mangled at this point. Same with my little winter hoodies. They're kind of mangled by now. I'm getting rid of every pair of hose. These are thigh highs. I never wore them. These are cute, and they're actually um, high leg light control top, but I've gotten to the point where I just never wear hose. And I think even if wearing hose comes back in style, I'm not going to follow that trend. Spanx, I guess, is technically panties, but I always had them with my hose. Um, I can't wear them because even though I got them in my size, um, they, they, what they do is they kind of like hold you in, and it just bothers my back when that happens. So those are gone. Uh, another set of warm sock hoodies that uh, looks totally ragged out. And then here's two pairs of knee highs. I never wear knee highs, so they're, you know, I think I've worn them once, and so I'm going to pass those on. And this is my keep drawer. I have, they're not all showing right now, but I've got a bunch of white socks. At one point, my husband and I got tired of trying to match socks, and so we got rid of all our, all our old socks and went to the store and bought, like, nine pairs of each color and it all matches. If I was following the Calm Marie method, I would get rid of all the white ones. When I first bought them, I was using them for the gym. I now only use them to mow the lawn uh, because the white gym shoes that I used to go with the gym <laughs> with are now my mow the lawn shoes. So they do not spark joy, but I need them to wear when I mow the lawn. Uh, brown, I've got a, a brown Mary Jane that I wear these with. These black ones I love. Uh, they're nice, thin, thin black socks. And in the winter time, I wear those with my black shoes that you'll see that I love when I get to my shoes. So if I was doing KonMari, like all those white ones would be gone, but that's not feasible. This half of the drawer is my KonMari method. I love these. These are um, all those nice, soft socks, and my husband bought me five new pair for Christmas. These, the gray and the red, and the purple and white stripes, the blue with the white burst on them, and the black and white stripes. I had purchased a pair of these for each one of my friends, and then bought some for myself for Christmas time. Very cute little bows. So, I wear these even in summer if it's if my feet get cold. So this is the KonMari I uh, love half, and that's the I feel I need to have those half. I've got one pair of leggings. These are black ribbed leggings that I wear with uh, a gray and the gray and black winter skirts that you'll saw on my bottom. I have three pair of those socks with like really no, uh, it doesn't go up your leg any. That's what I use 
for working out. And then the final set I have, this would also go, because I don't particularly love this, but these are my airplane socks. They're those ones, I never wore airplane socks till my husband and I went on our honeymoon to England, and I thought, you know, that's a long trip. I need those, like, stretchy support socks, because otherwise your legs get clots or something like that. I've read, I don't know, but I've read that. But I keep them because, you know, I'll need them if I fly. And then I just have a pair of Valentine socks and a pair of, you know, like, green clover socks for St. Patty's Day. So that is the bra, panty, and sock. Partial comery, but mostly fail. But if you guys have any suggestions on how I could do it better, let me know, because I still have plenty of stuff. So, for the socks, I had 43. I kept 40 and got rid of, well, I evidently didn't do that right, because I said I kept 40 and got rid of three. Well, obviously I got rid of three of these, but two more, so that's five. I get got rid of five socks, all of all five of my hoes and my spanks. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas of what I should have done with this card over here, um, let me know. I'm really at a loss because I feel like I need them even though they don't spark joy. Talk with you guys later. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.